Hi Mike here from Supreme Gadgets, hope you're all having a great day. Now today, what I thought I'd do was bring you a Geekbench test of my three iOS devices. Now I've got my iPad 3 here, my iPhone 5 and my iPhone 6 Plus. Okay, so what I'll just do quickly is just run through the specs of all three devices. Okay, so according to the Geekbench, you're all actually running the same version of iOS. They're all running iOS 8.02. They've all got nothing at all running in the background, so it's just Geekbench running and obviously iOS as well. I'll just make sure they all stay on. Uh, the model of the iOS, sorry, the iPad 3 is iPad third generation, and in brackets, iPad 3.1. OS is iOS 8.02, processor is Apple A5X at 1 gigahertz, and the memory is 988 megabytes. That's for the iPad 3. Now for the iPhone 5, it's an iPhone 5, iPhone 5, 2, iOS 8.02 again, the Apple A6 processor running at 1.3 gigahertz, and 1016 megabytes of RAM. Now for my iPhone 6 Plus, it's an iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 7.1, iOS 8.02, Apple A8 processor at 1.4 gigahertz, and the memory is 976, which is actually the lowest of the three, which is a bit strange. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on with the actual tests. So I'll quickly press on each of these run benchmarks. Now they have all run actually once or twice before, so it's not a total fresh benchmark test. So I'll just speed on through this and I'll get to results as soon as possible. Okay, so we've run the benchmark test. As you can see from the time lapse, the iPhone 6 Plus finished first, then the iPhone 5, and finally the iPad 3. And obviously the iPad 3 is the oldest of the three. Okay, so here are the scores. Now the iPad 3 on the single core score pro, uh, single core processor score, it scored 259 on the Geekbench 10 test. Okay, for the multi-core processor, it scored 492. Okay. Uh, and what it does say about the processor, it says an ARM V7 processor. Okay. And it's got all the technical specifications there. What I'll do is I'll post the links to these actual test results in the description of the YouTube video for you to have a look through yourselves. Okay, so the iPad 3 did score fairly low, low. Okay, the iPhone 5, if we just bring this over here. Okay, and just pop it on here and just have a look at it. It scored 704 for the single core score. And for the multi-core score, it scored 1,284. So that did actually score considerably higher, obviously, than the iPad 3. Now moving on to the latest, the iPhone 6 Plus, here we are. For the single core score, we've got 1,621. And for the multi-core, one, sorry, 2,908. And in actual fact, that single core score, 1,621, is actually higher than my old Windows Vista computer from 2008, which was actually a quad-core Intel Core 2 dual processor. So that's quite good. Okay, the other thing to note about, obviously, I, iPhone 6 Plus is it is actually a 64-bit processor, whereas the iPhone 5 and the iPad 3 are only 32-bit processors, so that will obviously help as well. So that's it for today. That's the quick Geekbench geek tests. I'll post a link to the scores uh, for the full data sheet in the description below. So until next time, hope you have a great day. Bye for now. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out our video. If you liked it, be sure to give it that thumbs up. And you can always leave a comment below to let us know what you thought as well. Be sure to subscribe 
That way you get kept up to date with all our brand new videos as soon as they're released. Check out our blog by clicking this button over here. And you can always follow us on Twitter and Facebook too, at Supreme Gadgets. Also, if you want to watch another of our videos, click on it, right here. You sure can't tempt me? Go on, click on it. Alright then, we'll see you next time, bye for now.